Hey, what's up, guys? It's Combo here, bringing you guys some Black Ops gameplay. We're going to be using the stake out here on Nuketown. It's a pretty nice little quick match that I got here, and I do hope you guys enjoy. That's an unfortunate nade to start off the match. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we'll be using the stakeout, one of the only guns that I do use in this game. And unfortunately, it does get its fair share of hit markers. I think there's actually an instance later on in the game. I don't know if it was this game or one of the, the next games after this, but I actually got three hit markers with the stakeout. Um, and it actually took me like four shotgun bullets to get the kill. I don't know. I, I always think shotguns should be like Modern Warfare 2 strong because they're shotguns. They should be really strong at close range and all that kind of stuff. I don't think that you should be able to get two and three hit markers and all that kind of stuff. I think that's just a little bit too weak. Um, but as for me, I just wanted to talk to you guys about some Black Ops 2 uh, shotguns and possibly like how they're going to be and my predictions for them and all that kind of stuff because um, Treyarch always has a tendency to make their shotguns a little bit weaker than say Infinity Ward would. Um, unfortunately, uh, because if you look at Modern Warfare, uh, Call of Duty 4, there was only two shotguns, but I think they did a good job with them because the the M1014 was semi-automatic. Obviously, I mean, um, it wasn't pump action or anything, but it did it did uh, it did do its fair share of damage. But it only had four bullets, unlike you know in Black Ops, there was the Spaz, which pretty much had the same fire rate as the M10, but it had eight bullets, and like the the W1200 was pump action and it had eight bullets, so I think they did a good job on that. But um, Treyarch shotguns, like I said, are always a little bit more weaker um, than Infinity Ward. Like especially with Modern Warfare 2, those shotguns were so good in that game. They're pretty much one-hit kills um, all the time. You rarely find yourself getting like hit markers and all that kind of stuff. Um, that kind of sucks. That guy just timed out right before I shot him. Um, but you know, Black Ops, you know, they were a little bit weaker. The only half-decent shotgun, in my opinion. Um, was the Spaz 12 because you could sp you could like spray it and stuff, but um, you know World at War shotguns there was only two of them and they were pretty bad. You know they had like the Olympia double ba double barreled shotgun whatever they called it, and then you had the um, the other one what's it the trench gun. I like the trench gun, but it was a it was weak. But you know like I said, um, I just hope that they put a little bit more work into Black Ops 2 shotguns because they're my favorite category and all that kind of stuff. And they're usually the category that is kind of left out with weapons. They always have the least amount of weapons in it. Um, and I hope they put in at least, you know, f four to five shotguns. And I hope they're all pump action. I don't really think there should be, like, an automatic shotgun um, and all that kind of stuff. I hope there's just, you know, pump action because pump action is the way to go. I hope they have, like, a Modern Warfare 2 spaz where it's pretty powerful and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, like I said, Treyarch has a tendency to make their shotguns a little bit weaker and their submachine guns a little more, a little more dominant and all that kind of stuff. But hopefully they can, you know, even it out and stuff. Um, as for Black Ops 2 shotguns, I would really, really love to see the shotguns uh, become secondaries um, in that game, like it was in Modern Warfare 2. I, because I think shotguns are pretty good, um, and they, they're definitely, you, you know, you can definitely use them as primary weapons. But sometimes I'd rather have a shotgun as a secondary weapon, and I don't really want to waste a perk on it like I don't want to have overkill just to carry a shotgun as a secondary um, but I, I wish they I hope they do put it back because in my opinion shotgun secondaries weren't that bad they really weren't um, in Modern Warfare 2 I, I really like that how you could you know carry around a sniper rifle or something like that and then you could you know if you got into a sticky situation or you got into a close quarter combat or whatever um, you could take out your shotgun and pretty much uh, you know, go to work with it, but I think if they're primary weapons, they should be a lot stronger um, than they were in Black Ops, because, like I said, you can't really have a primary weapon this, this week and have a FAMAS that's, you know, so dominant and all that kind of stuff that was never really fixed or anything like that. I just hope they um, put a little bit more thought into the shotguns, and I hope they make them a lot better, because, like I said, they're my favorite thing to use, and hopefully... I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with them, but like I said, I hope they make them shotgun secondaries again, but I don't know. We'll ha we'll have to see. Here I missed the quad feed, which kind of sucks. I think I get a hit marker on this guy, um, which would have been a nice little clip, but ended up knifing him, which kind of sucks. But nonetheless, guys, hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about shotguns, and what do you think uh, they should do with shotguns in Black Ops 2? Do you think they should make them stronger or as secondaries or something like that? Uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to put that out there, and I'll see you guys later.